Um, I'm Dr. Kate Hoy. I'm a research fellow here at Monash Alfred Psychiatry Research Centre um, and I work within the brain stimulation and neurosciences team. So um, we look at using brain stimulation techniques to uh, develop new treatments for uh, mostly psychiatric illnesses and particularly for people who haven't responded to um, the more traditional therapies. So people who are quite severely unwell um, and, and haven't responded to medications. We look at developing new treatments. So um, predominantly we use something called transcranial magnetic stimulation, um, which is a magnetic way of stimulating the brain. Um, but we also use other techniques such as transcranial direct current stimulation, um, magnetic seizure therapy, um, and deep brain stimulation. So we use um, quite a variety of different types of um, simulation treatments, all the way through from very non-invasive treatments where the um, apparatus is just placed on the head all the way through to surgical um, options. So my specific area of research is um, looking at using the brain stimulation techniques for cognitive dysfunction. So um, cognitive dysfunction is quite common uh, across a number of psychiatric and neurological conditions, but the treatments we have currently um, aren't very effective. The brain stimulation treatments are quite promising in this regard um, because they seem to be addressing the pathophysiology that we think underlies these issues. Um, there hasn't been a lot of research in the area, so it's a very exciting time to be doing this type of work. There are lots of opportunities for both honours students as well as PhDs um, or even BMED Sci students in the research that I do, um, particularly because there hasn't been a lot of research that's been done in this area. So there are a lot of questions to answer about how the different types of stimulation techniques affect cognition and how that happens in patients with depression and schizophrenia or traumatic brain injury. Um, is there a specific type of stimulation that would work better in one group? than the other. Um, and so we've got many projects looking at these types of things. So I think that MAPRC is actually a real, really unique um, environment with respect to students and mentorship and the support that you get here. Um, I think at times we verge on being, the staff verge on being outnumbered by the students, which I think is a really good thing. Um, our students are very supportive of each other. Um, a lot of the supervisors are fairly new supervisors as well, um, PhD supervisors, which means we're not that far away from having remembered what it like, was like to be a student, and so we're very supportive. Um, the mentorship from both Paul and Jayshree is exceptional as well um, in the centre, so you know it's a great bunch of people, it's a wonderful place to work. One of the benefits of working um, at MAPRC is the fact that we're a clinical research centre, and so um, you get to con have contact with patients and people every day that you work. Um, and the clinical translation of um, what we're doing of these techniques is short term. We, we're looking, you know, five to ten years to get treatments out if we can to people. And so um, there is a, a great, it's very rewarding in that sense to, um, yeah, to be able to do things that have a relatively short time to impact.